the short, sexy ABG girl married to a tall, bland, possibly rich dude. Uh, is this a common Asian American couple? Let's talk about it because this video is going viral. Yeah, people sent me this video a week ago. I said I did not want to talk about it. I did not think it was significant enough. But since then, Andrew, this video from Mango Monica from Hawaii has amassed like millions of views and tens of thousands of shares. Let's run the clip. Oh, man, why did this go so viral? Is it because it just like said because a lot? Because it's true. What's true about it? Is it just an ABG with a tall, rich nerd? No, Who knows? I, you don't even see his face. Like, I, what's going I on? think it's really funny because I think this sparks such a, a conversation because not only did it become a conversation about like, oh, differences between Asian women and Asian men. How do Asian men portray themselves? How do Asian women portray themselves? Also, it goes out to, oh, what do women look for in a man? Even though she might be a tattooed, sexy, short, ABG looking girl, she actually wants to marry but maybe not date, but marry, end up marrying a tall, financially stable, kind of regular, bland-looking dude. Who knows if he's bland, though? Is this guy know. bland? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, based off what we saw in the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Andrew, uh, it's always weird because anything involving a girl who looks like an ABG, I don't even know if Monica Mango Mango Monica is a real ABG. I would say that she's not. She's Japanese. She's from Hawaii. I don't really consider them ABGs. It could be its own Hawaiian brand of it. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like, and Andrew, anything regarding a girl who looks like an ABG, it goes viral. Well, if there's an ABG in your headline, I'm going to think about it. Because I always want to know what ABGs think because they are considered the desirable look and the women of our community. It's just one of the only Asian looks. that It's just like everybody has an opinion on it. It, it draws a ton of gravity. Well, also, ABGs can attract other non-types of Asian guys. Not everybody thinks that ABGs are sexy, so... Anyways, <laughs> um, Andrew, does this work? I mean, I often, I think you have an opinion, Andrew. How often do you see this couple? I, I've seen this couple. I know some of these couples in person where the guy is oftentimes even a tall software engineer, but he's kind of cool, but he's like just, he's a chill dude, but he's tall and he's not that stylish. And he even has like maybe a possibly a nerdy job or just like a regular like finance job, but he just doesn't care about how he looks. And then he dates a shorter, sexier girl who clearly for her height is very, very sexy. Right, but usually the girls, I almost want to say they work in something aesthetic and the guys like in commercial real estate or some sort of like, oh. you know, high tier business field or potentially uh, STEM field, but pretty high up. You guys know those are lucrative. Oh, I know the the girl who owns the brow shop dating the guy who has his own real estate company. And he's providing the liquid capital yeah. allowing her to expand her microblading in, empire. In this right? case with Mango Monica, uh, I believe the husband is a surgeon and she's a nurse. So he makes a good amount of money. Oh, so is this a real ABG, ABB couple? Or is this the 2023, no, no. like, it, aesthetic, not gangster, not street, no rap she, sheet, no criminal record? She might be more ABG than he is ABB. Let's just say that. But there was a large discussion also, to your point, Andrew, about, like, do Asian women dress up because they get attention from all races? And Asian men, is their masculinity tied up in success? Because, like... They're not concerned about how cool they look, you know, when they're out. They're just like, yeah, this is how my girl looks. I yeah, do my thing. Like, I, I got what makes me shiny. <laughs> right, right. I, she is. She counts as wearing 10 Rolexes on my arm, right? If I got her on my arm, I think it's different where it's like, I know that there is this cycle of like Asian guys, we get overlooked and not that many people look at us. So In then, America. So then when we do make money, we're just like, forget it. I don't really care how I look. I right, got like money. I'm not going to buy back into this system that like didn't care about I got my right girl. Now. I got my money. Why am I going to start trying to look all good now? You right, know what right. I mean? But also then he's just another Asian guy where people are like... Dang, he got bread, but he's not even, like, cool looking. All right, well, I guess Asian guys are not cool. So it's a whole cycle. I don't know what's the right answer. And that's why the comment section went all the way back around. Like I said, silly to serious, firmly in the silly category. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Here's a comment, Andrew. She's got on a clubbing outfit, and he's got on a Costco run outfit. Why yes. does he look like Adam Sandler in every single movie? <laughs> Other people found it disrespectful. No fashion effort on his part to, wa wa uh, to match his woman's energy. How legit of a comment is this? Because I saw this comment. Some people are, like, offended for Mango Monica, but they're in Hawaii. Everybody just is in Hawaii like that. I guess they're not in, like, Park Avenue, NYC, or, like, Paris, or London. I don't know. Like... How, I, why were people mad for her? I guess he was just only going to take pictures of her and not the other way around. I mean, I thought he could have worn pants, maybe. Or maybe just a black t-shirt that fit. 
I could have recommended that. But no, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, whole brother, it hey, doesn't matter, bro. Hey, if he's paying for the all the dinners and and he got he owns the car that drove him there, then so be it. <laughs> Somebody said it's the I work in tech fit. He's taking advice from Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs. He's a rational tech geek and already secured the bag. Somebody said that's the true rich guy swag. Kind of. Yo, that there's there's definitely some truth to this. That when you're a really when you're a guy, when you're talking about a, you're talking about wealth. No, way, I'm talking right? about wealth where I'm like I don't want to. I'm even, not saying this guy has wealth by the way yet, but he has just has a good job. Yeah. I would say for a lot of Asian guys, not all, but a lot of Asian guys who make a good amount of money, dude, and a good amount of money. I mean, even $250,000, $300,000 a year. That's a lot of money for a single guy. Well, you, you've probably moved up significantly at your company. Yes, if you, exactly. If, if you make that up. much money and your job does not clearly directly benefit from you dressing up and being stylish, then you're not going to be stylish. Are, are you referring to like software engineers at fan companies? or Software like so? engineers, like unless you're some type of like sales person high up at your job where you do have to like look good for people you're probably not but, gonna but be should those guys that are making let's just say 300 400 500 600 everybody knows an asian guy nowadays in 2023 that makes like a ton of money do they need to like try harder to look cooler to for any reason i mean if they care about representation yeah a little bit they would try harder but other than that if they just care about their own life then no somebody said not the asian mpc boyfriend somebody said there must be balance in the universe somebody might be trying to trade up obviously indicating uh, I, I guess the girl is moving up in socioeconomic status by the way these are all just comments these are not my thoughts somebody said if they lived in vegas people would assume she was an escort <laughs> that's a crazy comment not my words by the way somebody said uh, because guys who wear clothes like that are generally safe and are not going to cheat on you who, who else can confirm this that's funny this uh indian guy popped in and said most times still a sexy and prime woman tends to marry the guy who gives her security but has extracurricular activities with a dude who dresses well and is physically attractive maybe with six pack <laughs> uh is this true or most, false uh I, I think in the non-asian community there, there might be more truth to it than might, in the Asian might be community. True. uh this guy left a comment said well, it takes the girl one hour to look sexy, and it takes that man eight years to become a doctor. That's why he dresses like that. <laughs> man, it turned into a man versus woman comment, you know, in the comment section. Someone said, this guy's got that six Sigma mindset, that Sigma status, and he has money even though his outfit is whack, so he knows where his value is, so he's not insecure trying to look fly. Mm. Uh, Sigma, Andrew, is people who are alpha and have their life together, but on the out uh, outwardly to the world appear beta Appearance. It's a new thing in the manosphere. Whoa. Yeah. Is I that don't know, a real guys. thing? Like we said, guys, Sigma Do you guys pill, agree with this? Um, somebody said, uh, these comments are crazy. No woman is dressing up for guys. We dress up for ourselves. And if for anybody else, it's just for, for the approval of other women. And other people were super arguing against her. Saying, oh. shut up. I want, you know, it's messed up. But yeah, saying, come on. Quit lying to yourself. You don't do this so other guys can look at you like, dang, he got, uh, like, that's uh, a baddie. I wish I had a baddie. I think mom. it depends on the girl. And I think the, percent, the percentages of how much they care about outside approval does change. So you're saying girl to girl, some could be dressing for other girls and some could be more dressing for guys. Yeah. Like I think what if he, what if the couple was going to her friend's birthday, right? And she had, it was mostly girls that are going to be at the birthday. So of course she has to look good because there's going to be a bunch of pictures uh, taken for their social media, but he is like the supportive boyfriend. So he doesn't care how he looks. Yeah. And you know where I noticed a lot of girls have this, uh, like makeup style that Mango Monica had is mm. Vancouver, Canada, actually. Oh. For some reason, I, I don't know. Vancouver, we should Canada, go to like, Vancouver. I think for me, there's just a lot of societal power in a shallow society. They're not getting dressed up to go to like an enclave mom and pop dim sum restaurant, right? They're going to go to Hakkasan, like a Joey's, you know what I mean? Some sort of like Asian fusion spot that serves like raw tuna and wagyu you know what i mean like i just right. think they're going to a place where like looks is a currency that you, that you want to play that game yes yeah like they're not just going to like some family place right someone's saying uh if your lady's gonna dress up for you then you gotta dress up for her somebody said hey man if i'm paying i'm wearing whatever i want y'all girls are way too materialistic <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that he has a point, man. Someone said, yeah, see, these real men don't cheat. It's so loyal, this act of this man, because she's dressed up like she want to attract the outside people. Right, right, right. Um, someone said, I could never hold myself to dress like this. This was from a fashion IG guy. Mm -hmm. I mean... No, like I said, shout out to this guy. It takes a lot of work to stay fashionable, let's be honest. It takes a lot of thinking. 
Right. That's a, that's some other things that you're not thinking about. Let's be real. Uh, a lot of girls were commenting, that's me and my husband, and then like tagging their husband in it. Um, yeah. Well, what do you think about this? Is it is this just limited to the Asian American world where the girl is like way more glamorous, whether it's in a high end glamorous lane or a street glamorous lane than the guy? Or is this not limited to the Asian uh, world? I think overall, if I had to have my takeaways, like I do think guys who have a more stylish girl should probably be a little bit more stylish. But I don't expect them to be fashion icons. But I think if your girl got all these name brands on and she knows how to be stylish, then she just needs to buy you some of the shirts that look good on you. Like, she should know your size and just buy the shirts for you. I think there's actually a big difference between baddie makeup and stylish clothing. Because you could put a girl with the baddie makeup in the Sheen dress or Shein from Shein dress or Forever 21 dress, yeah. that's different than a girl like being into like fashion fashion. Yeah, yeah but I, what I'm saying is that nowadays you don't have to be a fashion expert to have slightly better fashion. So I would say obviously this TikTok went viral because his outfit is definitely at least a whole notch below what it probably should be. Right, right, right. Anyway, guys, I think there's valid arguments on both sides. Somebody said she looks like Moana. I could see that, like a more East Asian version like of Moana. The, the truth is he's not really taking after the tech fit like Mark Zuckerberg or Steve Jobs because those guys actually had like pants on and looked yeah. good in their outfits. That's why. It's not the same. Somebody said, lol, that's cold, but these dudes do be having their life together. Someone that's said, funny. usually chicks like this are successful. Successful women like dating normal guys because they can control and manipulate them easier. It's way different than a guy who looks super fly himself. Those guys are difficult to manipulate. Right. I, I don't even know uh, about also, that Also, I think a lot of people are not commenting this, but like the way the dude is walking in this video is super funny. I felt like he kind of like purposely did yeah, it. He, he purposely... Looks He's like, like walking like, dorky, like gumby, really yeah, lanky and like goofy. And I think it just plays obvious. It's a good TikTok. It's good. It's a good, good online Asian American content, man. Last comment said, shout out to the ABGs who found fina financial security. I ain't mad at you. No. Andrew, why did the Asian community share this tens of thousands of times? It's so Be crazy to me. Because it's about ABGs and it's telling something about ABGs. It's breaking down ABGs. David, we used to make some videos a long time ago where we used to break down ABGs. In fact, any of our Hot Pop Boys videos where we did talk about ABGs and break it down and analyze them, they also got quite a few views. Right. So even though I would not categorize this couple as a Jenny Tran, Kevin Wynn, they might be of their world, the thing of is, their STEM. They might be the, the Jenny Tran and a, a, a Kevin Wynn of the, of the high-level STEM world. ABGs are of the most scrutinized groups of the Asian community because they're the sexiest. They're also kind of hated on. A little they bit also of like little Latina vibe. Are also seen partially as like, Embar an embarrassment to the Asian community, but also seen as desirable. So they're kind of like this whole mishmash, paradox, oxymoron, all in one. People kind of don't like ABGs, but they kind of like, they love them a lot too. Yeah, you're saying that people love to hate them and they love to love them. Yeah. They're almost just like a magnet for attention regardless. Like people yeah. got thoughts on ABGs. Yeah. And that's why it went so viral. Yep. Guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Do you know couples like this? What does this couple represent in terms of like macro trends or narratives within the Asian community, if anything? And uh, yeah, like I guess this is where we're headed, guys. If you ever want the Asian American community to pay attention to a cause, are some ABGs behind are, you. Are you a tall, kind of bland dressing Asian guy who makes a lot of money? Well... There might be an ABG out there for you. At least a girl who looks like an ABG. You know what I've started to see, though? These quote-unquote, like, gap-wearing bland guys or H&M t-shirt guys, sometimes they'll have a hidden half-sleeve and, like, an AP or a Rolex on their arm, too. So that's almost like a hybrid. Anything but being stylish on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, yeah. guys. Thank you. Comment down below. We are the Hot Pot Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace.